All right, welcome back. Welcome back to uh, to the video to the channel. <laughs> Today I want to open a video card because this is a video. This is the video card that I will be using on my gaming channel. I will leave a link down in the description if you want to check it out. And I want to open the vi this video card. I want to open this video card and actually tell you the story because it's really funny. Not funny. It's more like a nice deal you know and share my experience okay so first things first this is the GT 240 if I uh, get the shot without reflection yes this is the version with half a gig of memory and it's running on 128 bits bus okay the funny story is that this card cost me less than two pounds one pound and something because it was an on, on an auction funny part is that the postage was similar even though it was like like three or four pounds the whole thing it didn't say a name nothing on the auction it's just video card nvidia video card at video card amd there were three video cards on this uh, auction they were separately you know and the postage was less than two pounds so i was like Yes, I want to go in. Even though no no name, no model, no nothing, it's just one angle shot, no description, no nothing. Nobody wanted to buy that. So I bought the, the three cards. This is was the this was the first one, and I got. Uh, this was the second one, in the auction. It's a Fire. Fire GL V seven six hundred half. Uh, I don't know if I can get the shot good, but you will see it. There's the V7 600. Half a gig. This one. This one looks like the 8800 GT, even the blower. And you can actually see it's transparent and it looks really nice. The, the chip inside, yes. And the third one, this is the funny part. A 260 gain worth so I paid less than seven around seven pounds for all of them with postage and it's funny okay this one is working this one doesn't show me artifacts but I never tested it fully but uh, it showed normal but I never tested it but I like the blower because it's like the 8800 this one does power on but it shows me artifacts on the 260 now because uh, either I can repair this one or I have a 270 I have a 270 that needs a fan because this one is kind of broken you can actually see the fan is okay the difference between the 260 and the 270 is this one's got as video and one's got HDMI uh, with the VGA instead of a DVI so the 260 is got this is the 260 this is the 260 and this is the 270 with the HDMI all right I'm really happy I told the story because I had them I got the cars like for a couple of months and I didn't have the opportunity to test them to clean them and I'm happy I told the story and I'm currently now I'm testing this 240 now this is not a very hard video card to open you can clearly see you got only four screws and it's easy the funny part is that they are not cheap if you go on eBay you will be amazed how stupid the price is the price is very expensive even though they are crappy because the new models comes with one gig and they don't need external they don't need external power supply yes they got no 12 volts supply this is similar with the idea of a 600 650 750 they don't need the 650 needs 12 volts a 610 but this one doesn't require it. neither the 750 
so that's why they are expensive and I was interested in the cars because all of them got the sticker on so nobody touched the video card even though they were broken I would have said okay I, if I have time I will uh, do a reflow on the BGA station so so yes let me open this video card I need the thermal compound replaced and I will be playing some games with it already did some videos with it but uh, yeah if you want to check out the gaming channel you can check it out but here I will be opening stuff and so here you see the look damn it the thermal compound is stuck <laughs> it's hard now I don't wanna Ooh, look cement cement yes I was uh, I was right when he, when I said I want to I want to clean it because it will be very bad to use it like this let me try to I don't wanna use I don't wanna use that uh. right we can use something like this and some alcohol but I need a lot of a lock it in because I can if I use iso isopropylic it will make the thermal compound lighter softer spread it spread it see something like this this is a isopropylic alcohol yeah it's making my brush Now we can take it off. Wonderful. See? Took it off, but he made a mess around, like spreading the thermal compound with isopropylic alcohol is not the solution, but it's better than nothing. And the brush, just in case you wanna use a brush. If you use the brush, it's like it's much better. Wonderful, very impressive. Oh, I forgot about that one. Frag me again. Some alcohol on this poor bastard. Need safety glasses now. Oh my god, this nothing beats up in the eye some pure alcohol with thermal compound. <laughs> Look at it. My toothbrush, then I can. I made a mess on the fan, look at it. Oh, little bastard. Come on off. Show you a secret if you want to see a secret. Or cleaning video card. something really awesome okay 
No. Put it, put it, put it, no, 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 no. Put it here. Because I don't need it on my table. Oh. Already went on my table. Go there. I don't want you here. Nobody loves you. Okay. I want to clean all the span, all the thermal compound and use the sponge to make it softer. I don't know if I have the sponge. Yes. I buy sponges like this all the time. Yeah? If you want them, you can clean the whatever you want. And whenever I, I clean something like a heat sink or something and uh, I scratch it and I want to use it, I want to make it perfect, you know, without uh, any scratches. Before I put apply the thermal compound, I use the sponge and make it straight and uh, remove all the scratches I'm actually impressed that the metal is dark aluminium how dark is this see wonderful this is the only part that needs to be soft and perfect Nice, I'm actually impressed. This is not very dirty, so I don't have to blow the thingy out of the sky with an air compressor, but I don't need this crap. Okay, now, because this is the first time, I want to see this. I never used this, but I don't want to use this. I want to use the cheap one. Because I want to make a video comparing, the but I have to install the temperatures, the temperature sensor on the computer, on the gaming computer, to actually see the difference between thermal compounds. But there is no difference. Everybody's crazy, and I'm afraid about that. Maybe it's got bronze or some metal inside, and it will short the BJ chip. That's it. No hassle. This side. This, put it back. The one with the tape was here, but I don't think it matters which screw is going. It's not that hard. Make sure it's tight. Perfect. Put back the fan. This is like the easiest cleaning ever in the world. I will have to do in the future the 590 because I deleted my by mistake the files for the 590 that I wanted to upload on this channel uh, how I open it oh, I open the 590 the EVGA but I will clean the reference one and I will show you I have to clean the 7950 and I have like a bunch of three other video cards that are in the same line like the 480, 570, 660 and the 750 that I want to do a comparison between them because they all have the same performance which one is the best of course the 750 is the best because it's consuming the less power compared to a 480 you know but yes progress <laughs> and slow <laughs> thank you for watching the video and uh, leave a comment if you want to see a video card that you want to 
open you know of course i don't have the 10 series i only have the 9 series 970 and 960 and underneath i got the 780 and that's it from 600 i got a lot of 600 video cards and uh 500 almost everything it's like i want to do a channel like this to open to um, how to maintain them how to repair them and on the second channel that is my gaming channel to test them and play with them and actually see how it's working again thank you for watching and uh, i will see you in the next video bye bye